Making America Weak Donald Trump has blasted, weak, Joe Biden for the recent Israel-Gaza conflict, claiming Hamas wouldn't have attacked if he was still in the White House. The former president made the remarks in an interview that was broadcast last night, hours after a ceasefire was declared following an 11-day blitz on the Gaza Strip that has left more than 200 dead. Trump told cable news channel OANN that Biden showed an attitude of weakness during the conflict and said Hamas wouldn't have dared to fire rockets at Israel if he was still in office. The former president said, he's shown such weakness. They have planes flying over Taiwan now. You wouldn't have had this problem in Israel. Trump admitted that he was fearful about the future of the Middle East. The interview was originally filmed on Tuesday but was broadcast hours after Joe Biden appeared to take some credit for the Israel-Hamas ceasefire. The Egyptians informed Washington that political leaders in Gaza also agreed to end the fighting. The president welcomed the decision but said the U.S. fully supports Israel's right to defend itself when faced with terrorist attacks. Biden also pledged to help Israel build back up its Iron Dome defense system, pointing out that the U.S. helped develop it. The agreement closes the heaviest round of fighting between the enemies since a 50-day war in 2014. The fighting began on May 10 when Hamas militants fired long-range rockets toward Jerusalem after clashes between Palestinian protesters and Israeli police at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Heavy-handed police tactics at the compound and the threatened eviction of dozens of Palestinian families by Jewish settlers had earlier inflamed tensions. Netanyahu's security cabinet approved the truce on the basis of what one official reportedly called quiet in exchange for quiet. Rocket attacks by Hamas and allied Islamic Jihad had resumed after an eight-hour pause on Thursday, as Israel continued shelling that it said aimed to destroy the faction's military capabilities.